What's going on everyone? It's Soul Spectre here, back again with another episode of my Pokemon Gold Let's Play. This is part 22. In the last episode, we went to the Lake of Rage where we found the Shining Gyarados, which was kind of tearing everything up. And uh, we also ran into Lance, who is a former Elite Four champion from Kanto. Uh, we're not quite sure what he's doing in Johto yet, but uh, he kind of suspected that there was a rocket base underneath this uh, weird mart with a satellite on top of it. And it turns out he was right. I think we just battled two or three successive uh, rocket trainers. So it's pretty infested with these guys. Hopefully they'll give us a little bit of a break now. Uh, but I kind of, yeah, see, I, I, I doubt it. Oh, and there's another one who runs out. What the heck is this? Hey, intruder alert. It's kind of weird that there are still people surviving because I think Lance has already gone through this place. And uh, he's one tough cookie. So anyone who's surviving, I don't know how they did it. But he sends out a drowsy. Gotta love drowsy. Pretty cool sprite. Uh, and I'm going to go for the Thundershock, see what that does. But yeah, I'm not, I don't exactly remember this rocket base too well, uh, from when I played this game last, but, uh, it should be pretty cool. And I'm excited to see, uh, some more dialogue with Lance. Lance is one of my favorite characters of all time. He's so cool. It's kind of interesting how in Red and Blue, he, uh, <clears throat> he was a former champion, but, uh, just before you get there... Turns out Blue had beaten him, so you have to face Blue afterwards. And he became the fourth Elite Four member. So we want to kind of figure out what, what he's doing in Johto. I mean, I guess he's just chasing after Team Rocket. Who knows? I guess we'll find out in the end. But Thundershock should be super effective against this Zubat. Oh, one-hit KO. Nice. Good job, Fluffy. I can't wait for till Fluffy evolves. That's going to be so exciting. Doo -doo -doo. Dang, I failed. You sure did. Okay, and there's another one! What is going on? I don't remember this at all. They keep running up to us in rapid succession. This guy has three Pokemon. Let's see what he has. A Zubat, so we should be able to one-hit KO that thing again. Fluffy's getting some good experience here, which is exactly what he needs. And he's gone. That's it. Boom. 184. So yeah, we're, we're getting there. I mean, a couple more battles and Fluffy should be level 28. I think he evolves at like something crazy like level 40 because uh, Ampharos is a pretty darn cool Pokemon. You have to work hard to get that thing. But Littlefoot should also evolve fairly soon. I think he evolves like level 32 or so. Something like that. So yeah, we got a lot to look forward to. Our team is complete in terms of our Pokemon, like our actual party, uh, but we just have to evolve Fluffy and Littlefoot, our Bayleaf, and then we will be set with a pretty stacked team. I like the way our team uh, turned out. Let me know what you guys think of it so far. It's all some of my favorite Pokemon. Some Pokemon that a lot of people don't tend to use, like Zatu and uh, Granbull is another kind of rare one, but I've always loved Granbull, always loved Zatu, so figured why not use them. Surveillance cams are in the Pokemon statues. Will keep appearing until you trip a secret switch. Oh, okay, so that's what we have to do. It's a Persian statue. Its eyes are oddly shiny. I don't think we uh, tripped the switch there. Hmm, what should we do, guys? Let's go this way, see what's here. Okay, so this, maybe this. Oh, jeez, so many of these guys. Hopefully we can figure out what we have to do with this switch. That way they won't keep appearing like this, because this is craziness. There's so many of them. I wonder how Lance got through this so quickly. Probably with his Dragonite. <laughs> okay, let's go for another Thundershock. At least it's stabbed. And it does, what, about half on these Drowsy? Almost half. Whew, good thing the Hypnosis did not work. Yeah, almost, I think after this battle, we should be level 28 with Fluffy, which is awesome. We could switch to another one of our Pokemon, let him get some experience. I love that sound, that sounds so crazy. Nice, level 28 already, sweet. And now he's got another Zubat. We'll keep Fluffy in just so we can one-hit KO that thing. And then maybe we'll switch into someone else, depending on what our levels are at. Oh, this one's level 19. Do you think we can do it? Yeah, we still got it. Nice. 
Beautiful. Dang, I failed. They're all saying the same thing. It's just a bunch of clones. This is craziness. Hopefully this is the switch, the thing that's right behind us here. And that way we won't have to do any more of these crazy battles. But yeah, I know what you guys are thinking. He's avoiding it. He doesn't want to tell us. Why have I been on such a long break? Um, well, it was primarily because of school. If you follow me on Twitter, which I highly recommend because I uh, send out a lot of updates for uh, my YouTube channel on there. And uh, I've just been telling you guys that basically it's been school. I've been super busy with school. But school is quickly ending. And I'm already gotten a start on YouTube here. Let's switch into something else. Let's go to Chain Chomp. Um, and... Uh, yeah, I kind of want to go full-time with YouTube for a little while, see how it works. I know that uh, Pokemon Gold and Silver are releasing for the uh, Virtual Console on 3DS. So hopefully that'll bring some new people in and we'll kind of grow a bigger community here. And uh, hopefully this Let's Play will help them as well as you guys. Because I know a lot of you guys have been enjoying this, which makes me super happy. And I'm so sorry to have had to take a break, but uh, I'm back now, out of school very shortly. So, this should be a fun time. Nice. One hit KO. Whew. Almost level 27 with Chain Chomp. Chain Chomp's one of my favorite Pokemon. Surveillance cams are in the... He's saying the same thing. They're all the same guy. Alright, let's see. Hopefully this is it. It's a Persian statue. His eyes are oddly shiny. It didn't do anything. Hmm. Okay, let's grab this item. And then maybe let's head back to that first statue, and I'm thinking that might have uh, a switch in it. We'll see. Dun, dun, dun. Music's kind of crazy in here. I don't really recognize it. Is a Persian statue? Is that? No, this one. Oh, jeez. Where is this thing? I think they're lying to us. Maybe we'll go this way. This way looks kind of fishy. Hey, hey. Feeling lucky, punk? Go ahead, take another step. We've got traps set in the floor. Uh-oh. Hmm. Maybe the switch isn't this way after all. Four Pokemon. Oh my goodness. I'm going to fast forward a little bit through this battle. Oh, we still got Fluffy first. Forgot about that. Send in Chain Chomp. Surely he can take care of a Rattata. I'm going to fast forward through this a little bit. It's going to be level 20. It's another Rattata. Jeez. Level 27. I think he has all Rattata. He does. There we go. Nice quick little battle. Kaboom! What does that mean? Who says that? I don't even know where the traps are planted. You'll just have to collect your courage and walk. So I'm assuming they're going to be on these gray lines. Maybe we can deactivate these things. Let's go back this way. This way looks... Uh, Looks like the way we might have to go. Is there an item here? No. So it looks like we've got a scientist sitting at a computer desk over here. Oh, we can't walk behind those plants. This was once a ninja hideout. There are traps to confound intruders like you. That makes sense. It all makes sense now. I get it. Scientist Jed. I think that's the first time I've heard of that name, Jed. And we've still got Fluffy first because I am a goof. Uh, let's go for... Let's go Chain Chomp again because Xylo is flying type and that will not do too well against a Magnemite. Tackle ain't gonna do nothing on me, fool. Let's go for Strength, see what that does. Steel type is a thing in Gen 2, so this might be resisted. Yeah, it is resisted, so... It was close. It was a good attempt. There we go. Got him. Who does he have next? Another Magnemite. We're gonna fast forward through this. When they have the same Pokemon over and over again, that's not exciting. Another Magnemite. But yeah, I'm I'm so surprised with how far we are in this game, guys. We've got six badges already on our way to the seventh. I can't believe it. All right, I'll do divulge a secret about our hideout. That thing on the floor up ahead is a warp panel. If you step on it, you'll be warped back to the entrance. Okay. So yes, we don't want to go there. 
X all that for an X accuracy? Who wants an X accuracy? Okay, I guess we gotta go through those traps because I think we've switched all the switches and uh, nothing's happened. And unless we go this way. Ah, here we go. I didn't even see this. So hopefully we can switch this switch after this. What does this guy have? Another drowsy. And a Zubat, which should be a one-hit KO. Nice. Dun, dun, dun. Dang, I failed. These guys, oh my gosh. Thundershock. Oh, Grimer. There we go. We're almost level 29 with Fluffy now. Let's switch him out. We'll put him at the bottom. He is our most powerful Pokemon now. Yeah, we'll go with Hercules for now. Hercules should do well, especially if there are any other uh, Magnemites, Steel-types. I don't think that did anything either. A Nugget! Ooh, we do want that thing, so let's switch out our items here. Uh, let's go with... Ooh, what should we throw out? Um, oh, that X accuracy, of course. Duh. Forgot we got that thing. There we go. Now we'll have a nice nugget to sell. We'll get, uh, I think it's 5,000 Pokey Dollars. Pretty cool. Oh, there's more. <laughs> Drowsy. Oh, so that's not too great. Do we have a bug attack? We don't have a bug attack on our Heracross. This is crazy. Okay, let's go with uh, Fury Attack. See what that does. Oh, that should kill him. No, it only hit twice. And now we're asleep. Oh, no. There we go. Critical hit. Nice. Just got another Zubat. We'll stay out. We'll use, uh, we'll use Fury Attack again. There we go. These grunts are everywhere, man. These things are crazy. Oops. I accidentally used counter. That's not going to work. Now we're confused. Team Rocket is the worst. They use all these weak Pokemon. Now they confuse you. They put you to sleep. They poison you. Come on. Play fair, guys. What does he got now? Ooh. Let's use Rock Smash. Super effective. Let's see what this does. Love that animation. Nice. One hit KO. Hercules is a beast. His attack is so high. 219. Not enough to bring us to level 28, but we should be there soon. And now we can... Oh, that'll take us back to the entrance, which we don't want to go to. We want to go downstairs. Aha! There we go. This is what I want to see. Something, something different. We've got Lance here. What's he have to say? Are you alright? Your Pokemon are hurt and tired. Here, give them some of my medicine. Sweet, so Lance has us all uh, healed up now. Sylph, let's give it our best for Pokemon. Okay, whatever that means. I like this area here. It's pretty cool. Cool design. You rotten little pest! <laughs> okay, so it looks like we've uh, stepped up the stakes here. A little bit different than the... What is it? There's no escape. You rotten little pest. It's a little bit more extreme. And we've got a Venonat, too, which is very cool. Alright, I'm liking this. A little bit more variety. Venonat's sprite is pretty cool. His eyes are crazy. Oh, three times, almost. Confusion, that shouldn't do much against us, because we do have the bug type. Oh, it's super effective. Wow. Okay. I would have thought that the bug type negated the uh, super effective from Psychic on Heracross, but I guess not. 288 experience. Another Venonat's coming here. Let's see if we can hit four times, because that way we get a one-hit KO. One, two, three. Oh, three again. So close. That confusion sound is amazing. And we are officially level 28 with our Hercules. Very cool. We're going to be all level 30 soon. It's going to be awesome. 
85 attack stat. That's crazy. Grrr. This guy ain't happy with us. Heh, only the boss knows the password for that door. Where's the boss? Who knows? Go look for yourself. The boss. The boss of Team Rocket is here? Is that Giovanni? He can't be back already. All right, let's switch Hercules to the bottom here. There we go. Now we got Xylo in front, so we'll get some experience for him. And I think this is the only way we can go, right? The door won't open? Well, duh. It has to have a password that only Team Rocket knows. Dun, 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 dun. And this guy only has one Pokemon, so it might be a little strong. Yeah, there we go. There's a Golbat. A level 18. Hopefully our Xylo can take that thing on. Uh, let's use Nightshade, see what that does. <laughs> it makes the same sound as Confusion, I just noticed that. Okay, so it did a little less than half, so maybe let's try Fly this time. Even though it won't be the most effective, it does have Stab. Because Xylo is part flying type. And it should be a bit stronger than Nightshade. Yeah, there we go, nice. Alright, 658 experience. That's a lot. That's perfect for Xylo. I'm glad we switched him in. What? I lost? You sure did, my good sir. You sure did. Heh, <laughs> I'm just a grunt. I don't know the password. Too bad for you. Well, we're gonna get it soon. Oh, here's Lance again. It takes two passwords to get into the boss's quarters. Those passwords are, only no are known only to a few rockets. That rocket there very graciously told me so. <laughs> so, let's go get the passwords. What's up here? Ooh, item. It's a protein. Uh, I suppose we could use that, because it can uh, give you some uh, more attacks, that. What do we want to get rid of, though? I don't know what this mint berry is. I'm going to toss this mint berry. I never used berries in these games, so... Oh, we also have a rare candy. I didn't know that. Maybe we'll do that when we're closer to evolving something. Okay, so there's some stairs up there. I think this is the way we're meant to go, because we got to go talk to these scientists here. Oh, we avoided that guy. Or maybe he just was beaten by Lance and doesn't want to <laughs> doesn't want to talk to anybody. I used to work for Sylph, but now I run research for Team Rocket. He used to work for me, see? Look at that. A meddlesome child like you needs to be punished. Scientist Ross. So this is where you kind of see the connections between the two, uh, two generations, red and blue and uh, silver and gold, because this guy's talking about how he used to work for Sylph, uh, which was a company in red and blue that had been invaded by Team Rocket. If you've uh, played red and blue or you watched my Let's Play, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, and this game takes place three years after red and blue. So you kind of see the connections here. There's some callbacks and all that. What did that guy just use? Did he use self-destruct or something? Because I was up in the air. That was amazing. He just died. I don't know what happened. I'll have to look back at that. I bet it was self-destruct. That's hilarious. Silo didn't even get touched by it. Oh, now we're poisoned. That's not too bad. Hopefully Lance will heal us again. With his secret medicine that he does not want to name. I think he's a hacker. <laughs> I said this in red and blue during the... Uh, Elite Four battle with him. He had Dragonites that were too low of a level to have evolved into Dragonite, so it was literally impossible that he had those Dragonites. Yet he had them somehow. A mere tactical error cost me. I think it was more than that, man. I think you just gotta train your Pokemon better. So he's talking about a radio wave that drives Pokemon crazy. My experiment is a complete success. My promotion is assured. This loss means absolutely nothing. Okay. So this is the guy who was sending out that crazy signal that I think was making the Gyarados go crazy. Do I know the password? Maybe. But no weakling's going to get it. Okay, so here's one of the passwords that we need for sure, because this looks like a different type of trainer. Is this Cassidy? Oh no, it's just a rocket grunt. Looks exactly like Cassidy from Team Rocket. We got an Ekans here. Very cool. Let's use, uh, let's use Peck, see how much Peck does. Okay, not bad. Three quarters. We are going to die from poison somewhat soon, though. Which is unfortunate. Hopefully we can get Xylo to level 28 before then. Or 27. What are we at? 238. Oh, very close. Let's take down this Gloom. Perfect, it's a Gloom. So we'll be super effective against it with our uh, Peck. 
Hopefully we can kill it, kill it in one hit. Gloom Sprite is pretty cool. Oh no, it wasn't one hit. Please don't kill us. Absorb. I don't think that should kill us. Shouldn't be too effective. Yeah, there we go. Very nice. So we're going to level up. Gone. And what are we at now? Level 27. Okay. That's good enough for now. Alright, stop. I'll tell you. The password to the boss's room is Slowpoke Tail. But it's useless unless you have two passwords. Okay, so we've got one out of two. We're halfway there. Where's the second one? Maybe it's over here. Let's check. Xylo is likely not going to make it through this battle. I don't care that Pokemon are hurt by our experiment. Well, that's, uh, that's an interesting statement. Ooh, he is a ditto. Look at that. That's super cool. I'm going to use Fly, and then at least we'll avoid a hit, and hopefully Poison will not kill us. Use Transform. Oh, he couldn't transform into us. Oh, almost. Yep, that's it for Xylo. He served us well. Now let's take on this ditto with our... Ooh, let's go with... Let's go with Littlefoot. We want him to evolve soon. I love Meganium so much. I think I've said this several times throughout the Let's Play. But, yeah, he's... Uh, I don't want to say underrated because he is pretty bad, realistically. But uh, a lot of people don't really like him. His design is super cool. He's a little bit tanky. I think. Pretty defensive. But yeah, he's not the greatest competitively, but he's fine for, like, in-game. Signal for broadcast nationwide. The very thought of it. Oh, so what they want to do is they want to expand this uh, satellite uh, radio signal in order to do it all over the whole world. Uh, so all the Pokemon will go crazy. You're challenging me to a battle? Ha, huh, you're nuts. But you have guts. I like that. If you can beat me, I'll tell you a password to the boss's room. Nice, so here's the second password. We found it. And then I guess we just go up to the stairs up uh, that we saw earlier. And that should be it. Raticate. Ooh, normal type versus normal type. It's kind of interesting because now Chain Chomp or uh, Granbull is actually part fairy type. But he's normal type in this game. So it's kind of confusing for me every now and then. But yeah, these are two normal type beasts. Level 28, nice. He's trying to learn Roar. I don't think we need that. Let's see what we have here. Charm, maybe? No, I think we're good. I think we'll stick with that. I don't think we need that. It'd be useful to escape from wild Pokemon, but we usually won't have a wild Pokemon that we have to escape from, so... What is this guy saying? Yuck, yuck, yuck. You're good. Whatever that means. The password to the boss's room, uh, I think, is Raticate Tail. Okay. Dire hit. I don't think we need that, whatever it is. Did we get that protein? I can't remember. Yeah, we did. Okay, let's use protein on... Who needs more attack? Uh, I kind of want to use it on Hercules, just to make him super, super powerful. But I don't think he absolutely needs it. Let's go with... Let's go with Littlefoot. Why not? And then we can pick up this Dire Hit, which I think... What does it do? Does it raise defense or something like that? I can't remember. I never used this item, so... Dire Hit. Uh, ups critical hit, hit ratio. Oh, okay. We don't need that. Let's toss that away. Because I think it just temporarily raises your critical hit ratio, which we don't really need at this point. Full heal, nice. Full heal can be useful. And I think we head up to these stairs. Another item, oh my gosh. Ice heal, we don't need that at all. Not a chance we need that. And here are the stairs. Let's see what's up here. Okay, so we are approaching the end of this Rockets hideout. And we're also approaching the end of the episode. We are, uh, I think, a little over 20 minutes. I don't have my timer here, but I've just been kind of keeping track of the time. I think we're a little bit over 20 minutes. So I'm going to cut the episode off here. And in the next episode, we will be finishing off this Rockets hideout. And we'll see what Lance has to say about what's going on here. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm so glad to be back. I had so much fun making this episode. I'm excited to uh, record some more. I definitely missed it, guys. I really did. I wish I could have kept going, but school got busy. But now we are back in action for the summer and hopefully beyond because, you know, might be going uh, full time. We'll see. So thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe for more episodes as they will be coming out uh, every Thursday. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.